Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we will be talking about coterminal angles. These are the angles that have the same initial and terminal sides on an x and y plane. So you might be wondering first of all what is initial side and what is a terminal side? Initial side is where the angle starts off and terminal side where the angle stops. So initial means simply where angle starts and terminal means where angle stops. And positive angle means that we are going in a counterclockwise direction and negative angle means we are going clockwise direction just keep in your mind now let's look at this very first example over here you can see we have two angles 150 degrees and negative 210 and their initial side is obviously x axis so 150 which is going counterclockwise since it's a positive and negative 2 10 it is going clockwise and they end up with the same terminal side since they have the same terminal side they share the same terminal side no wonder we're going to call 150 and negative 2 10 degrees as a coterminal angles let's look at this example of 80 degrees and 800 degrees and both of them you can see that they start off with the initial side as what x-axis 80 degrees ends up with this terminal side how about 800 degrees 800 degrees starts from here it completes one cycle which is equal to 360 degrees and one cycle is also called one revolution it makes one more revolution that means 360 and 360 makes 720 and 80 makes 800 since they both have the same terminal side that means these two angles are also coterminal angles let's look at one more example to make sure that you uh, get this idea this time I have given example of three angles negative 315 45 and 405 degrees and once again their initial side is what x axis and they end up with the same terminal side that means they have the same terminal side or sharing the same terminal side no wonder these three angles will be called coterminal angles now we will be doing few examples to make sure that we do some problems in this example one we've been asked if the following pair of angles are coterminals the simplest way of doing this one let me show you really easy way i want you to put down 10 and take the difference put a minus sign always between them 370 and 10 minus 370 is negative 360 isn't it now ask yourself is it divisible by 360 evenly yes it is so we can say which is evenly divisible by 360 so thus i'm gonna say Thus, these two angles, 10 degrees and 370 degrees, are indeed coterminal angles. That's all you have to do. Piece of cake. Let's look at this example B part over here. We do the same thing. I want you to find the difference so I want you to put down negative 600 and then I want you to put a minus sign in between and then negative 60 now negative and negative become positive so negative 600 plus 60 makes negative 500 and 40 and now you can ask yourself is it evenly divisible by 360 which is obviously not so that means 
these two angles are not coterminal. So I'm going to say which is not evenly divisible by 360. So I am going to say thus minus 600 and negative 60 degrees, both degrees are not coterminal angles. That's all you have to say. Now let's look at this example too. As you can see, uh, we found the difference of these angles and in both examples, A and B part, they are obviously evenly divisible by 360, so they are coterminal angles. In this example 3, you can see over here, uh, A part is obviously divisible by 360, so these are example of coterminal angles, but in part B, when you find the difference, it turns out to be how much? Negative 270, which is not evenly divisible by 360. So that really means that these two angles are not coterminal. And finally, you look at this example 4. This is an example of angles in terms of radians. So you again find the difference and the difference simplified out to be how much? Negative 2 pi and which is obviously divisible by 2 pi. That means these two angles are indeed coterminal angles. Thanks again for watching this video. Bye.